Hey guys, today we're going to be making paper cranes and this is um, an origami paper crane. This is a small one and today we'll be making a larger one. Um, but these can be a symbol um, of health or like well-being and they're a great thing to give to somebody who's sick or is not feeling well. And so think about as you create them today who you could give it to. It might cheer up their day. They'd be great for people who are, you know, having to be in the bed or in a nursing home. So they're a great thing to share with those who are going through a tough time. So anyways, we'll get started on some origami and I will walk you through the steps of how to make your own paper crane. The supplies you need for today's project. You'll need some type of drawing uh, materials. You can use marker, colored pencils, crayons, really whatever you choose. You could even choose to paint your paper. I've chosen to use markers and colored pencils. And then if you would like your origami crane to hang like from the ceiling, um, you can create um, a string with beads on it just to make it um, really pretty when it hangs. And so I've got the beads and string here as well as a hole pincher to make the hole for where I will run the string through. And then um, the scissors are because we'll probably need to cut our paper. And so I'm going to begin um, by getting my paper the right size. And to create an origami crane, we need a square piece of paper. And so I will start by folding my paper. Take the bottom corner and fold it up to the top where this makes a straight edge like this. And then I will be able to cut right along here and that will get rid of the excess paper that we don't need. So if you've never done origami before, um, origami is simply the Japanese art of paper folding. And so after we design our paper, I'll walk you through the steps of how to fold the paper crane. Um, but it shows at the bottom, you know, you just fold it in many different ways. And then when it's done, it creates your shape without any glue, um, any additional cutting. Once we've got our paper to the square, um, it'll just be a shape that holds itself just due to all the folds. And so now I'm going to fold my paper out into the square and I'm going to design my paper just to make my origami more interesting. You can buy origami paper that already has um, lines and patterns, but we'll be creating our own. And so um, here are some examples of different types of lines you might want to use in your design. You can use zigzags, you can use diagonal lines, wavy lines, um, loopy lines curved lines, a series of dotted lines, or spiral lines. And with those, we want to create different patterns. And you can see here, some of these patterns are really simple, but they're just interesting to look at. And so on your paper, be creative, make it colorful, and add lots of pattern, and your crane is guaranteed to turn out to be very interesting. And so now at this point, I'm just gonna use markers to kind of outline um, my designs, and then, from there, I'll go back and add color, and then once I've finished coloring my design, I will show you the steps for folding the paper crane. Okay, so now I have my design finished and it's time to begin folding your crane. And I've already gone ahead and made the beginning fold so I can show you on the back. I've got an X and then I've got a T. And how I did that is I folded it in half this way, like this. And then I opened it up and did the same thing going the other way. And then you unfold it and then I folded the paper in half like this and then in half like that to get those lines. And so when you're finished with those folds, you should have an X as well as a T on the back of your page. And so at this point, then you will take the sides and kind of lift it up to where it's like a tent in the middle. 
it's the highest and you see how the sides are creased inward we're going to take these and basically fold it together like that and do the same thing here and so now that leaves us with a diamond and then we will take the corner just the top layer because you've got two layers now we're just going to take the top one and we have this straight crease running down the middle and we're going to use that to help us line this up with the center we'll fold that in and then you're gonna do the same thing over here. You're gonna fold it to meet that one in the center and make sure it's lined up on that center crease. And then if your corners aren't wanting to fold down good, you can use you know, your pen or pencil or colored pencil to kind of make those creases um, nice and flat. Okay, so now it's kind of like you see like an ice cream cone shape. We're going to flip this over onto the back and make that same little ice cream cone shape. Do the same process that we just did on the back side. Okay, so at this point, we're going to open up the bottom of our cone. Or actually before you do that fold the ice cream over and make another crease to make the next part easier on yourself and run um, your pencil along that to really press that line down and then just to make it easy for the other side too we'll flip it back this way and crease it again just makes the next step a lot easier okay so now we open up the bottom of the cone we lift up the top flap like this and open it up and you can see it just kind of forms itself it wants to fold down when you keep pulling that edge back and so we'll press that in and then we're going to flip it over open up the bottom part down here of the ice cream cone take the bottom corner lift up and it'll kind of stop at that fold that crease we made where the ice cream starts Open it like this, and then it'll kind of start folding in on itself, and you just kind of help it along. And so now we have this long diamond. And so now you're going to fold the next section in like this. It's kind of like we're doing the little make the ice cream cone again, except it's going to look a little bit different because it's much more narrow, and we have these little lines coming in. And we'll do the same thing here. And then I can use my pencil to really press down the creases once again. And then it's kind of like before you flip it over and you repeat the same um, process on the other side. So then at this point, we're, it's kind of like you're turning the page of a book. So we're just going to turn this one side and we are going to lift this flap straight up. And then we're going to close the book back. And then it's kind of like we're opening it this way. We fold up and then we close it back. And now we'll get to see the crane. We'll fold down this wing and make a crease there. We'll flip it over, fold down this wing, make a crease here. And then since this one is already kind of bending, I'll use this one for the head and then this one for the tail. And all I have to do on that, now I can lift my wings up and grab this part right here. And then I can pull out on the tail, just pull that back down and then the head of the crane I'll do the same just pull forward and then I'm pinching right here underneath to make like a new little fold and then I can fold the crane's head down and there is my crane 
And at this point, and I can work on folding the tail down the center, make it flatter. I used a thicker paper, which makes it a little bit more difficult, but I wanted a larger sized crane than people typically make. You can use thinner paper, which makes it a little bit easier to work with. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, a hole punch and I'm going to punch a hole right down here in the paper and I'm gonna run a string through the hole and my hole puncher is not wanting to work but that's okay. I'll get a pair of scissors and poke a hole through there and then I will run a string through and add beads so that I can hang it um, from the ceiling. Okay, so there's my hole. And then I would take my string. And you can tie your string really however you want it, but at this point I'll go in and run that through there and add the beads and I'll show it to you once I've got the beads on. Okay, so now I've finished my crane. It's folded. I've got my string of beads and I've made a little hook at the end so I can hang it now from like a little hook or from ceiling tiles. Um, but anyway, so that's the finished product and it's even got the design you can see underneath. So if you um, hang it above um, like a, in a child's room above a bed or if you have um, a relative who's in a nursing home or someone sick in your family, this is a great gift to give them and they can hang it and have it to look at. Okay, so here is my finished paper crane. I think it's awesome because it's really big, which is kind of unusual. And I've also added this nice string of beads. So you can hang it from your ceiling, above your bed. You can look at it from underneath. It's just really cool. I hope you had fun making yours. I would love to see yours and see what ideas you came up with. Please share them with me on social media, Samantha Wood Art. Also, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more creative content. Thanks.